Hello everyone. Today I'm very proud to present Hydra 2 device, new device from Lotar Exler, designed by my friend Sebastian Bartkovic. Uh, he's very well known as Candlosin. Uh, the device is produced by me, distributed by me, serviced by me if necessary. Okay, uh, device device I'd like to show you today is called Hydra 2. Hydra 2 is a, in a basic version, 8 port SCART automatic switcher. It means you can connect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 retro consoles, computers, synth systems, whatever. And those two SCARDs are SCARDs out, outputs. It means you can connect two monitors at the same time, or you can connect uh, favorably CRT monitor and frame masters, uh, any upscaling device. How does it work? I will show you. Uh, today how to connect your Hydra 2. I will show you how to run it, run it. Maybe, maybe if I didn't mess up with the firmware, firmware. Also, I will show you how the remote works. I've got a very simple remote over here on my next computer over next right to me is compiled last firmware for it. I think I will able to show you. Okay, first of all, let's start from the ports. At the back of the Hydra, over here, over here, maybe take we take a screwdriver to show you precisely. Over here, we've got micro USB power port. What does it mean? Uh, it means it means that Hydra needs power, of course, right? It needs current to run. So. We have decided to design the Hydra the way you can power it up with the simple micro USB phone charger. Uh, in my case, I am using uh, my monitor Active Hub to power it up. So this plug goes here and Hydra starts. Of course, you can use any micro USB phone charger that are very common, very popular, very cheap. The reason we've done this uh, is that uh, among the countries power plugs are different and it would be rather difficult to supply proper power supply around the world. Anyway, back to Hydra. So that's, uh, that's the power, that's the power connector. Over here, over here, one and two. Those are uh, audio outputs, typical RCA uh, connectors. You can connect uh, your Hydra 2 to your stereo system. Uh, and this moment, and this moment, the sound is uh, sent by Hydra to your stereo system, and you can have uh, fun listening to the music, retro music, or other sound with amplifier and big loudspeakers. Anyway, let's connect the Hydra now. Uh, the first the first plug I'm gonna insert is the uh, cable to my LCD. I'm gonna connect it for example to the SCART output number one over here. SCART output number one. The second cable I'm gonna connect. It's a SCART cable going to my uh, CRT monitor. Actually, the best one I have. Okay, connected as you can see. The next cables I'm gonna connect is my cables to are the cables to stereo system. Connected. Okay, so we have connected all the outputs. 
now this is the cable I have uh, is going from my Atari that's laying on my right you, you cannot see it I'm gonna connect it for example to the port number one and finally the power yes the power as you can see now the Hydra uh, start scanning for active video source as my Atari is currently off it will not detect any signal so that's why it's scanning uh, a little explanation uh, must be said about last port active okay at the end of the end of the scanning routine the hydra uh, stops on the last port uh, for a few milliseconds more what does it mean it means only that hydra on the last port is expecting uh, a hydra heads expansion board it means it starts looking for any active signal from the Hydra heads. That's why this time is a little bit longer than the other scans. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my computer. Okay. As you see, my Atari boots. I will turn off the light so we can see better okay two computers two monitors are working at the same time on the right hand you've got lcd on the right hand is lcd on the left hand side is crt monitor You can easily spot the difference between the pictures. I think the CRT monitors are better in the context of retro gaming, but that's my personal opinion. Never mind, I'm gonna switch to some uh, static picture. Wait a second. Okay. Now we've got static picture at both monitors. Uh, some explanation must be also said about the uh, about the uh, extra two switchers switches that recently appeared in the Hydra 2 next to the SCART outputs. Those switchers. Uh, Mm, switches between composite uh, sync output in TTL level and uh, regular 75 ohm one when I press when I press the left button called CS1 you can see the red light is on when I press it another time, the red light is off. In this moment, Hydra changes the composite signal for the monitor connected to the SCART port 1. Similar things, thing is with the SCART port 2. As you can see, the red light appears after being button being pressed and the picture slightly differs. Uh, most TV do not care what signal on composite uh, on the synchronization they get TTL level or regular one but some uh, upscalers do uh, I think I think I think there is many devices that uh, will benefit from that feature uh, okay uh, the last thing I'd like to show you about the Hydra 2 is the remote. This simple remote uh, can switch, can do many things. 
for instance, scanning right, when I press the scan right, uh, I'm sorry, uh, my mini over there switched, it's not implemented yet. Uh, when I press 2, <laughs> sorry, when I press 2, Hydra switch to the port number 2. When I press 3, Hydra switch to the port 3, port 4, port 5, and 1 again. Arrows up and down changes. Uh, com uh, composite signal mode on SCART output 1, output 2. This little sign changes the LED mode. When you press it, Hydra will turn off the lights. Of course, there is uh, much many. Uh, this, this remote is very simple. I haven't implemented all the function on the functions. Anyway, we still have one month before official release. So uh, maybe now I will turn on some demo just to show you how the monitor works. Monitors works. What's the difference between what's the difference between CRT and LCD? Let's choose my best Atari demo, Newman. I hope you enjoyed my video. Hydra soon will be in pre-order. Then I will need approximately one month to gather the orders, make productions and send the, send the items. This month will be very difficult because I will be working on firmware bugs because there's probably plenty of them. Uh, you are all welcome at my site www.lotarek.pl You can read over the many news about my other hardware. Also, you can read a lot of about the Hydra, how does it work, how it's made. Hope you enjoy it. Let's watch some Atari demo on two monitors at the same time. In the background, uh, by the way, you see my Hydra Mini uh, scanning for active ports. This is my basic uh, production device that I use in every day.